another Coffee and Careers, the Career Service vlog with me, Anne Duff, the Careers Manager for the College of Arts. And me, Fiona Stubbs, the Careers Manager for MVLS. So you're very welcome to our conversation today. And today, Fiona, we are going to be talking about student side hustles, mm -hmm. what they are, the benefit of them, and how students can describe it as a professional piece of experience with a huge amount of value. So what is a side hustle? It's a flexible job, it mm -hmm. fits in around their studies, it fits in around their lives, um, it brings in money. Um, it's also typically something that they're really passionate about, something that they're really good at and they've been able to turn it into a money-making endeavour. And um, it kind of allows them to use strengths and knowledge that they don't ordinarily get to use in their part-time jobs uh, or as part of their studies. Yeah. Would you agree with that? That, that, sounds, yeah. that sounds it, yeah. Um, so typical hustles that I've seen students present one with is I had a student one time who um, gambled. Oh. Um, yeah, <laughs> he gambled online um, in uh, poker tournaments to, to win the money mm -hmm. and that was what funded his entire studies. Wow. I had another student who was doing something like, like life, life sciences, I think, but he was really mad about music and he was managing bands, but he had designed this, he had um, partnered up with uh, a beer company and he had come up with this um, bracelet that you would, when you get into a concert, you'd give and it would have a chip in it and it would allow you to get a free beer and allow you to download music. Oh, wow. And you would come up with these yeah. great ideas. Very innovative. Yeah, 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 he was dead and it would be loads of ideas about how to sort of like bring technology into the experience of going to gigs. So those are a couple that really stick out in my mind. What about you? Uh, well, I see a few actually. I mean, Typical ones might be students that speak uh, more than one language, maybe often uh, a translation service, or you've got students that might offer tutoring, whether it's for school or fellow students, and in anything from maths to music. Mm -hmm. uh, dog walking, a few dog walking businesses have become quite popular. Um, bike messengers, uh, and then you've got the classic ones where they do a bit of busking in town. How a side hustle could actually be professionalized okay. for students mm -hmm. so let's is there anybody you can think of that personifies the hustle yes well i thought about this and there was uh, one student that had a mobile beauty business mm. um and it had stemmed from the fact that they were good at applying makeup themselves and they wanted a bit of extra funding because they weren't getting support maybe from home mm -hmm. um and they'd then started doing beauty for people in graduation parties, weddings, and they got a bit of a reputation, so much so that they were then able to, due to the success of it, buy a car, uh, which allowed them to go to people's houses in order to do the beauty, whereas before they were taking all their kit on public transport. Um, and I mean, it's, it, it, as I said, it allowed them to finance a car, but it's also allowed them to comfortably live through a four-year degree. And it taught them a whole heap of skills as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's try and drill down into some of those because I can mm. clearly see how that would be um, beneficial to the student because mm -hmm. it's something she had control over. She could work as much or as little as she mm -hmm, wanted mm -hmm. to. Absolutely, it was a reliable yeah. income stream yeah. at a critical point when she was studying. So she could back up and when she was going to be busy, she could be busy. Mm -hmm. um, so let's think about some of the um, skills that she was developing, some of the strengths that she was developing yeah. as a result of that. Writing in applications or interviews, some of the skills that you could write on is, is using that word again, and reliability. You mm -hmm. are providing a service at quite important occasions in people's lives, weddings, graduation parties. So you have to be a, a reliable person that will turn up and do um, and provide these services. And I think if you can uh, demonstrate that and create a good reputation for that, uh, then that, that goes miles when you're applying for graduate level jobs. Yeah. So reliability and managing reputation. I think also then you are also dealing uh, and providing customer service uh, and providing service to a particular need across a whole range of people and backgrounds and being able to talk to people that are beyond your demographics at, uh, in student life again is hugely valued by employers. I think for these, these side hustles um, 
what people generally have to do is they have to grow their business themselves. Yeah, so yeah. they're using all sorts of marketing. So there's the creativity around marketing. There's the social media um, management. There's all the all the commercial awareness of mm -hmm. running a business that mm -hmm. they have to keep keep accounts. They have to mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know keep everything right. They might have to even pay another person yeah, if it's yeah, busy yeah. at times. So yeah, I think there's lots of that that, that fits on under it as well. And also time management, if you think about it, they're, they're usually having to balance more than one priority. It's studies, family, um, uh, and this side hustle, part-time job. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think time management is a really good uh, skill or critical skill that they're developing. Mm -hmm. So let's think then about it long term. So um, doing this kind of thing, like I remember even um, when I was at university, I had a sewing machine and I saw and I went around all of the care homes and fixed the clothes, <laughs> sewed buttons on, put name tags into the residents' clothes, fixed hems, and you know I just went with my sewing machine and kind of you know went to all these care homes and it was a great way to make money. But that was something that yeah. I talked about when I then left university. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, so how can you how can you do that? How can you use it long term? Mm -hmm. Well, I think doing something like a side hustle can actually take you off in a very entrepreneurial direction. And here in the university, we do have um, an enterprise um, mm -hmm, service mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. can sort of help you with ideas. So it might be the case that you actually develop your idea mm -hmm, and make mm -hmm. it more than your side hustle, actually make it your yeah, full-time yeah. thing. That's completely yeah, yeah. a way that it could um, build into your long-term career. But should you decide to go off in the other direction of applying for jobs, graduate type jobs, typical jobs, um, there's a few ways that I think you can really sell this to potential employers. It is a really valid piece of experience that you can talk about. So like any piece of experience, you're talking about what you did, you're talking about the skills and strengths that you have as a result of doing that, and how they match up to the um, aspects of the job that you're applying to and the skills and strengths that are required to do that particular job. But additionally, it gives you something more, I think. And I think what it gives you more is that it's particularly impressive, because I think it shows that you're innovative, mm -hmm. it shows that you have the ability to be a self-starter, it shows that you have commercial awareness, it shows you have a strong worth ethic and you're willing to get stuck in. Would you agree with that? Abs no? Absolutely, they're all, there's nothing negative, I think, no. about having a side hustle. The one pointer I would mention is you need to balance all your priorities uh, to make sure that none of them suffer. So great to have all these ideas and carry it out and make money, uh, but make sure nothing suffers as a result. Yeah, absolutely, I agree with that. And um, uh, definitely use it as, as a piece of valid experience, um, even if it is only hoofing your sewing machine around <laughs> care homes in Belfast. <laughs> So thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Fiona. Um, so we hope that you'll check in again with some of our other mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. vlogs that are coming up. You can go back and you can watch some more of the series. But for today, we hope you've enjoyed it. We hope you've found it useful. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Good luck. Bye.